In this video, I'm just going to kind of go through a little bit of basics about eBay. Here's the assignment that you're going to be doing, which is going to be to fill out this form. And it's kind of just getting you used to eBay is the big thing. I'm trying to show you that you can have discounts, that you don't have to buy something new. You can do this uh, through eBay and save yourself some money. So you want to fill this form out. You're going to be bringing it back to class. You will be turning it in. We're also going to be discussing it during class time. So, all right. So what I want you to basically do is I want you to go in here and I want you to find um, an iPhone. On this particular form, it asks to find the iPhone uh, 6. Now, I realize the 6S is the new one that's out, but the 6 gives you a little bit better reading just because the 6S has been it's too recent. It's only been out for a very short period of time. So. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to go to ebay.com. Okay, so uh, for ebay.com, we're going to just open up our web browser here. And I'm just going to type in eBay. Mine automatically fills it in because I've been there before, but otherwise you can just continue to fill it all in at ebay.com. You'll hit enter and it brings up your eBay. Now what I want you to do, I go back to my sheet here. I want In the search tab, I want you to type in iPhone 6. Now you can choose a Samsung or anything else. I don't know enough about Samsungs to know how much they sold for originally, but you'll have to look that up, and that's fine if you want to do that. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, so all we're going to do is type in iPhone 6. Now I don't want the 6S. Again, the 6S is too new, but iPhone 6, and then 16 gigabyte used. Okay, we want to compare this one because I know what the prices are for that one when it was brand new. It was 650 or $649 brand new and then uh, now that they came out with the success they've lowered the price to five hundred and forty nine dollars okay and from here this is kinda nice because you can choose your color if you don't like um, maybe you want the gold color or maybe you don't like the gold you want a different one that's fine however you want to do it is fine but I'm gonna in order to fill this out I request that you either do a buy it now like this one is a buy it now so that would be fine or um, that it ends within the next five hours and you know how long it's going to end uh, let's see, These are here's a best offer, just going down to find one here, uh, best offer, here we go, 25 minutes, this one ends in 25 minutes from now. So another option you can use is just go up here and under sort, go time ending soonest. This one ends the most recent, this gives you an accurate idea if you're going for the auction one. If you want to, you can go just for the buy it now. Just click this button up top here, and that's the buy it now. Those are always available. You don't have to do any sort of auction. So if you want to buy one right away, you can. All right, so we've got, um, these are all the phones here. And this is still um, the time ending soonest. I'm going to go back to all auctions. OK, so what we want to do is um, just click on one. It really doesn't matter which one we actually click on. Uh, I'll go down. This one looks good for right now, at least compare. Uh, it looks like it's got two hours left on it. I'll click on this one. The next part, okay, so what's the price of the smartphone? So I go back here, the price right now would be $440. You can list the $650, uh, but it doesn't make sense to buy this one for $650 when I can go buy one from Apple for $549. So it wouldn't be to our benefit to do that. Um, so anyway, the starting bid $440 is what you would list. The next question on this one is, Shipping. Okay, the way that we'll find shipping is go back over here. Right down below here, it'll say uh, how much shipping costs. A lot of times it's free, sometimes it costs a little bit. This one costs $11.55, which is not too bad. Um, I'm going to go back to my worksheet here. Uh, how much would you save? So that you're going to subtract whatever the cost of the phone is. My, uh, uh, $5.49 minus whatever the cost of this phone is. Um, and you should end up with something, it should be somewhere in the ballpark of about $100 to $150 at least that you're going to be saving on this one. Uh, who is the seller? Okay, now, to find the seller on this one, we look over toward the right. The seller on this one is this X, X, uh, X -uns, whatever. And it's got a little number here. And it says he's got 100% positive feedback. That's going to be the next question. But this little number here will tell us what that feedback is. We can actually click on this number. It will bring us to this seller's page and tell us how much of it was positive, how much was neutral, and how much was negative. And then you could read down here on what other people have to say about this seller. This is kind of the nice thing about eBay, because you get someone in there that has a lot of negative uh, feedback, then don't do business with them. There are too many people you can do business with who have good feedback. So anyway, so that's, that's the seller. Here's the positive feedback. And again, I, I typically shy away from anyone that's got less than, uh, you know, 92 is really the lowest I'll go. I really, really look hard if it's under 95. So there's just so many options that you can go through. All right. Um, 
uh, positive feedback. There we go. Read the description. Okay, so let's go back in here. So this is kind of nice with eBay. Of course, you can mouse over this and you can really um, zoom in a little bit. Let's look at the phone though. Here are pictures. These are pictures of the actual phone. Uh, on this, uh, we click on this picture. On this one right here, um, it looks like right around this area here, I've got right around the lens, I've got a couple little dings there. Not the end of the world, uh, but we need to be aware of that. We scroll down here to the description, and this gives us the description of what exactly it is. What we're looking for in this description is to make sure that it works. Right here, condition is used, item has been previously used, the item may have some signs of wear, but is fully operational and functions as intended. This is important, especially when you're searching for electronics, because um, you can have one with what they call a bad or locked ESN or a locked through T-Mobile or an iCloud, iTunes lock. You don't want those phones. They won't work for you at all. Um, basically, they haven't paid the bill, so they just shut them down completely. So then at that point, they're nothing more than really a paperweight. So you want to stay away from those. So that's why if you get one that's just a little too inexpensive, there's probably a reason for that. Um, okay, this has the big description here. Down here is the seller's notes as well. Uh, and this is unlocked. Okay, unlocked means that if you're on Verizon, you can take it to T-Mobile. Um, so it doesn't matter who their carrier was. It says it was AT&T in this case, but if I'm buying it and I want to go on Verizon, no problem, it will work. It is unlocked is what they call that, so that's fine. So anyway, that will hopefully give you enough um, basis here. You can go in and complete the assignment.